there's a real hotbed of romance going on at the court of Theseus. The Duke of Athens is busy preparing for his wedding to Hippolyta. Meanwhile, there's a love triangle going on. Two young men, Demetrius and Lysander, are in love with Hermia, but her dad, Aegeus, only wants her to marry Demetrius. So Lysander and Hermia flee to the woods. Before they leave, Hermia tells her best girlfriend, Helena, of their plans. Helena has her own problems. She's deeply in love with Demetrius, but he doesn't even notice her. She thinks if she snitches on where Helena and Lysander are going, Demetrius will realise how awesome she is. Elsewhere in the forest, a group of tradies, called the Mechanicals, are rehearsing their truly bad amateur theatre version of Pyramus and Thisbe for Theseus and Hippolyta's wedding. Their lead actor, Nick Bottom, believes he's amazing and wants to play every character in the play. The wood is also home to fairies. Fairy Queen Titania and King Oberon are having marital difficulties after Titania refuses to hand over a young Indian boy she's taken under her wing. Oberon orders his mischievous fairy, Puck, to find a magic love flower that he can use to enchant Titania's eyes when she's asleep. He also asks Puck to do the same to Demetrius, so he'll fall in love with Helena, because Oberon has seen what a jerk Demetrius is to her. However, Puck gets it wrong and squirts the juice into the eyes of a sleeping Lysander who he sees in the woods. Lysander wakes up and falls in love with Helena. Meanwhile, Titania wakes up and the first person she sees is Bottom. But Puck, for a joke, has turned his head into a donkey's. This doesn't matter as Titania is under the spell of the love juice and thinks Bottom is incredible, despite the fact that he only wants to eat hay. Puck tries to fix his mistake and also squirts the love potion into Demetrius's eyes. Now they both adore Helena. But Helena believes both men are playing a nasty trick on her and don't really love her. Meanwhile, Hermia thinks Helena is trying to steal Lysander and a fight nearly ensues. The men also almost come to blows. Puck and Oberon fix up all the mess they've created. They get rid of Bottom's donkey head and Titania comes out of her spell. She can't believe the weird dream she had. Puck makes Lysander fall back in love with Hermia and Demetrius and Helena are now a couple. All the couples have a mass wedding together. The special entertainment is a very terrible version of Pyramus and Thisbe by the Mechanicals. When the play is over, the lovers all leave. Finally, Puck comes out and addresses the audience directly, asking them not to take this too seriously. It was all a dream. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on A Midsummer Night's Dream, check out our analysis of all the themes within the play.